The Anchor Falls Psychiatric Hospital, OPD, has seen an upsurge of patients since the lifting of the lockdown, especially on review days. According to officials, staff used to see an average OPD number of 60, but now attend to more than 80 patients. Wendy Lai visited the only psychiatric hospital which is yet to record a COVID-19 case. Mental health facilities are known to be high-risk environments for COVID-19. I am at the Ankafu Psychiatric Hospital to find out measures being implemented to ensure the safety of staff and patients on the back of the Accra and Pantine Psychiatric Hospitals recording cases. At the entrance of the Ankafu Psychiatric Hospital, the no mask, no entry is visibly seen. For those who have an engagement at the hospital, after their temperature has been taken, are either giving a green chit, which signifies a normal temperature, or a yellow one for persons with temperature 38 degrees Celsius and above. Different levels of protection for different areas are implemented in the hospital, like hand washing. At the pre-triage area, staff are seen in face shield. This is due to their constant contacts with clients and visitors. If one is noticed to have symptoms, they are immediately moved to this respiratory clinic. For instance, physical distancing at both the psychiatric and general OPDs are observed by patients. Those mostly seen together are clients with relatives. In the past, patients used to sit close to doctors, but this is not the norm now. Officials explained when doctors or nurses have to get very close to patients, they wear a face shield. The Ankavu Psychiatric Hospital OPD has seen an upsurge of patients. The in charge detailed what could be the possible reason. Because of the pandemic, a lot of people fear for their lives, so they don't usually come to the hospital. But because of the lifting up of the lockdown, you can see that there's an upward surge. People are now coming in their number because they don't know what will happen, whether there will be a lockdown again. So they are coming to seek services. We have about six staff, but now that we have the pandemic, you now we averagely have 10 in the mornings. My next stop was a visit to one of the male wards. Before COVID-19, this Nightingale ward served as an acute male ward. But due to COVID-19, it has been converted into a quarantine ward for male patients. This entrance was used by patients and staff. But now, patients only use this entrance, while a new entrance has been created for staff. Although the hospital hasn't recorded any COVID-19 case, this is to prevent a possible infection and spread if the hospital should record a case. So this is the new entrance for, that we've created for our staff. And it's not just a new entrance, it's a new procedure for entering the ward that ensures that you come in with your clean clothes, change into more appropriate work clothes, which you can go into the dirty areas, do all the work that you need to do during the, the days of the day. And then at the end of your shift, you switch out of these dirty clothes and into clean clothes that you came into work with so that you don't take any possible infection that might have picked up from work back home with you. At the time of my visit, there were three patients who had spent three days out of the 14 days on the ward. The main dormitory will now take 16 patients, formerly 28, but the state of the facility is a worry. The walls and the ceiling of this old structure have developed cracks. When you enter some part of the room, you see some hanging wires, then the bathroom is not a place for human beings or a place for someone to be happy bathing day. Currently under construction is a hospital's treatment centre. Recently the Ministry of Health um, was granted some money from the World Bank uh, through the Ministry of Finance to manage uh, uh, this thing, COVID-19. And um, we are informed that we should be receiving some of these funds 
um, to help us uh, manage our cases in this hospital. I would like to take this opportunity to urge everybody at the Ministry of Health to make ensure that when these funds are being distrib distributed, as we have heard, the funds do make their way to the psychiatric hospitals because if we neglect the mentally ill in our COVID-19 pl uh, planning, it will be to our detriment. As part of efforts to protect staff and clients and cut cost, the hospital's pharmacy departments since January this year produces its own hand sanitizers. Its occupational therapy department is also producing nose masks and face shields for the hospital. Authorities say these efforts are geared towards the safety of staff and clients. When delay, TV3 News, Ankavu Psychiatric Hospital, Central Region.